Well, good evening, everybody. Um, so you saw the agenda. We have a pretty light agenda for tonight. The uh, first thing on it is uh, acceptance of, of our approval of the minutes from last month. So I'll ask if anybody found any additions or corrections that we need to add. No. No. All right. Uh, all in favor of accepting the minutes, say aye or raise your hand. Aye. Aye. All right. Um, so we're on to updates and other business. I don't actually have any updates. Does anybody have any other business or updates? Um, I guess there is one thing I now go back and look. Um, so you remember that um, <clears throat> that EPA project to identify sites where they want to pre-identify uh, sensitive areas and already have sort of contingency plans for spills. Um, I, I sent out information and I said I was going to be volunteer to be part of the group, but if anybody else, that they're all public meetings. So I guess none of you went to that meeting where they described the project. Well, they're getting ready to do site visits. So if you're interested, I can forward this information to you in case um, you're interested. I don't know if site visits are open to the public or not, but um, I'm not sure whether I will go or not because I'm not sure how much I'm gonna learn just walking around on the shore of the river. But um, does anybody want me to, to forward this to you? That's okay. Good. <laughs> All right. Um, well, that's all I have then. Anybody? What was the, um, Go ahead. Uh, what was the, with the um, other RDA? They just decided not to do it or just too complicated right now or? Um, yeah, the, the uh, you know, that I got an email saying we have this tree that's hanging over the house and it's right near a wetland. And she had talked to Keith Bardwell and, and Keith said, well, you should go to the Conservation Commission. So they contacted me. I set up a time to go see the site. And um, it's, a, it's a house right across the street from the Galanka farm stand. And uh, you know, sure enough, there's a silver maple right, right behind their house, but it's right on the top of a terrace. And down below it is wetland area. And so I said, yeah, you know, you could probably take the tree down, but it'd be better to come and talk to the full conservation commission. And, you know, I, I can send you the form for an RDA and, and, and I explain the whole process. And, you know, they were still trying to explore whether they could find a tree service and how much would it cost. And they weren't, con they were a little, and then eventually I got an email that said, we're gonna hold off on it until we get a better handle on the finances for this. So, um, I think they're just not ready yet and they're not, they don't see any point in going through the process until they're ready to contract with somebody and, and can afford to pay the bill. Yep. Mm -hmm. so. um, I got my notice that I'm on the housing committee and we filled out a when to meet, but we haven't met yet. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll be excited to hear your updates every month now, but the fascinating things you get into at the housing committee and if i can be of any help with the gis stuff just let me know i know catherine roger i say roger she's was on the housing committee she was they were looking at a site for maybe like a uh what do you want to call it? like a project they were looking at maybe the houses that were near uh, la salle's there those two sort of abandoned houses they were thinking of taking those on maybe those lots and making a you know a housing project out of that. So are there two? I thought there was one house and a barn. Is it a house and a barn? I thought there was like two houses. She said there was two houses. Right. Maybe it's a house and a barn, yeah. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Well, if we don't have any other business, I don't need to keep you all. So we can keep it nice and short so you can go out and play in the twilight. Maybe tell me if you find any woodcocks out there tonight. That's right, uh, the survey is certain, yeah. 
is a pretty bright moon out there too. They might be out all night long. Who knows? I saw one the other day. You did. Oh, yeah. All right. Have they been sounding? Have they been calling or? Uh, I haven't heard that. During I, their flights yet? No, I haven't seen that. Not yet. Okay. So they're back, but they're tuning up, I guess. <laughs> and, I, and I saw a kestrel today. Oh, nice. nice. First mm. one I've seen. You know, there's been one apparently nesting in the town hall. Yeah. At the peak of the uh, of the roof. Mm -hmm. um, and I just, it, I've never heard about them in a building before, but mm. as if they're cavity nesters that a hole at the, in the roof is as good as anything else. Yeah, we had one in a hole in a barn once. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, and, and I saw a morning cloak butterfly. So for those who weren't here earlier, that's the other sign of spring that I ran into today. It was really fun. Nice. Hmm. All right, everybody, I'm going to stop recording. Okay.